السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله Hi guys and I really hope you're doing well So it's been a really really long minute since you guys have seen me in this situation And recording a video sitting down like this and talking to you guys one to one But here I am So uh, Alhamdulillah last week I got to upload last video of me as a medical student And if you haven't seen the video I'll pin it up here or like down in the description box below and go watch it it's the pinning ceremony it was the last day in medical school we had a lot of fun on that day alhamdulillah and here's why i want to make this video over the past four years i've been creating videos uh showing you guys what life in medical school is what life as a med student is what life as a kenyan medical student is what life as a clinical medicine student is uh, in kenya and all that kind of good stuff and one thing that I really, really, or like several things I want to share with you guys is I want you one to be so mindful and very, very keen on whatever that I share with you guys because to, because of two things. One, I on you guys see or like you guys experience or you guys hear what I want you guys to hear. There are so many experiences. There are so many things that I left out. You know, there are so many things that I chose to experience in private. There's so many things that I was like editing. There's so many things that I decided that these things are not going to be put out there. And that is the case with every other YouTuber, except for the few who actually live their lives like fully online. The reality is that not every aspect of someone's life is actually seen and shown in social media. And that is one. Like you guys see, you guys hear, you guys experience whatever I want you guys to see. And then two, whatever I went through, whatever medical school was, whatever experiences I had, those were my experiences. And here is why, like, this is the main reason why I'm making this video. Is like, you know, in medicine, and I don't know, maybe in other fields, before, during, and after medical school period, there's a lot of opinions, there's a lot of, you know, people having a lot of says about whatever you want to do, a lot of, you know whatever you should do whatever you should not do and i guess mimi kamasheba and also part of this youtube channel plays a very big part in that of like putting out a very public opinion on like how medical school should be or like how medical school is well that is important in terms of you know showing you guys the reality of things showing you guys how medical school is on the ground and everything that happens day to day week to week month to month year to year it's also important to consider that everything that I experienced as a person, everything that I went through in medical school was kind of affected or already determined but what, by what kind of a person I am. You know, my experiences from my background have, have changed, you know, have contributed into my medical experience. My values as a person have contributed to my, my, my experience in medical school my interactions with my peers my personality my everything my ethnicity and everything has actually affected my experience in medical school and trying to you know fix you know fix actually is the wrongest word but it's the best word to use in this situation trying to fix whatever situation you are in to sort of make it be whatever sheba is trying to portray online is one of the biggest mistakes you're ever going to be, to do to yourself and especially in this medical school journey where there are like a lot of things to experience and a lot of emotions to go through you know when i say that medical school is hard that is subjective you know like what scale are we using what criteria are we using to sort of put that hardness in terms of a scale and tell you what aspects are hard you know so many things about that is not talked about and when you hear a lot of these opinions, when you hear a lot of these stories, it's always like medical school is hard, medical school is hard. Yes, medical school is hard, but you know, maybe you get into medical school and then things are going smooth for you. You get to experience everything blissfully and you enjoy every aspect of it. And then you start questioning yourself in the middle of it. You're like, why am I not experiencing the hardship that people say that medical school is? You know, why am I going through all these things and not really seeing if there's a trouble in this? You know, why am I not seeing that this is actually hard? Or like maybe you hear somebody else telling you, you know, oh, wow, I enjoyed medical school. I enjoyed my time in medical school. But then you end up getting into medical school and then things are like not what you expected. 
things are not going well, you know? And then you start to try, to try and try and try even harder to sort of fix the situation you're in so that you can have the same experience as so-and-so said, that med school is fun, that med school is hard, you know? So you maybe think that maybe you're not doing things right because you're not experiencing hardship or maybe you're doing things very, very wrong because you're not enjoying med school. But what you guys, uh, or most of us fail to understand is that so many things come into sort of affecting or influencing the type of experience we have into medical school. And to the subtle of these things is like even your personality, you know, how you carry yourself as a person hugely affects your experience in medical school. You know, a lot of examples are, are present to be given, but that's a video for another day. But like what I wanted to share with you guys is that when you're watching these videos, when you're watching my journey through medical school, just be mindful from telling yourself, yes, that is Sheba's journey. And we appreciate Kwamba like, if of course, if you're watching the videos, you know, like uh, we appreciate Kwamba like, that is what Sheba had to go through and sort of like painting a picture on what to expect and what to see and what is available in medical school. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to go through the same experience. I realize that this is a very important message to put across because most of you guys watch these videos and maybe you're in high school, maybe you're applying into medical school, maybe you're in your initial years of medical school, maybe you're currently at the same stage as me in medical school, uh, not in medical school, but in the medical career, you know, maybe at the same stage and maybe everything that I post is sort of, you know, you want to compare whatever situation you are, whatever place you're in, to whatever place I'm at and it's it will never be okay it will never be any easy situation really has yes it was sour because we are two totally totally different people two totally different uh, people in different circumstances going through a lot of different things being having a lot of different um, opinions and values and principles about life and having different goals and different desires from whatever we want out of this uh, medical career so and that that's one and then the other thing is in medical school, before, during, and even after medical school, you get to hear a lot of opinions, like I said, you know, from the pre-side or like when applying to medical school, you hear a lot of people telling you, mtoto aflani afanya kitu aflani, sahi hana kazi, mtoto aflani, siwa mfanya nini, fanya hii, fanya hii, fanya hii, hii, nzuri, hii, si nzuri, whatever, whatever. You hear a lot of things, a lot of opinions. And what I want you to bear in mind is that most of these things, yes, they are true, but also allow yourself to sort of experience every single aspect in your own way. You know, in medical school, again, you get advice from your peers, you get advice from your lecturers, you get advice from your seniors, consultants. And after medical school as well, you get advice from every around uh, corners. Even neighbors have opinions at this point, you know. But what I want to tell you is that some of these things, take everything that you're told with a pinch of salt, take everything you're told with, you know, a little bit of mindfulness. Don't just take in everything you're told. Don't just believe everything you're seeing. Because with social media, I, w I won't say everything of it is fake because a huge part, like every single thing that I've shared, alhamdulillah, is authentic and haven't, like, I just drew a line of what I wanted to share and what I didn't want to share. So, like, it doesn't mean that any, every other content that I shared is not authentic. Everything else is authentic, alhamdulillah. But like, it's not the whole truth, you know? So a lot of opinions, a lot of things you're going to see, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that has to be your experience. And that that doesn't mean that that has to be the way you have to experience medical school as a person. You know, allow yourself, give yourself the grace, give yourself the opportunity to experience this life and medical school and everything that you're going through in your own perspective, in your own circumstances, through your own situations and through your own abilities and capabilities. You know, um, again, the, the, the other problematic thing is that I may be coming here and telling you, do this, do that. You know, somebody else is telling you, do that, do this, do that, you know. But then considering your circumstances, it's like this close to impossible, like almost impossible. Like the remaining percent is like 1% of possibility to do something, for example. For example, like when someone tells you to have discussions every other day, or like every single day, you know, someone may be telling you that from a pure heart, from a kind heart, from a kind place, you know, 
pointing you because discussions are very helpful and like one of the ways to survive medical school diet is through discussions but then based on your circumstances that couldn't be the situation you could just maybe be able to get to discussions every other day or like every twice in a week you know and that is okay because that is part of your experience and if you consider that discussions are important you're going to do something that is make it's going to make you grow in terms of a person and your own personality you know in, in terms of how you uh, cope with challenges and adapt to situations it's going to help you overcome that and going to help you grow to sort of try and maybe fix your schedule look at your schedule and be more mindful about how you manage your time and everything uh, to sort of maybe create room for more discussions in the day or maybe the week or maybe the month. You guys get what I'm talking about. Um, do not compare yourself to other people's journeys and specifically because you're watching this video on this channel, do not uh, compare yourself to the experience that I had in medical school. Everything that I say, of course, is subjective and relative uh, could be put on a relativity scale, but all said and done, uh, try and allow yourself to experience medical school in your own perspective, in your own lens, in your own situations, and in your own circumstances. So I felt that that is important to share with you guys at this point because I'm done with med school vlogs. I am done. Like, alhamdulillah, we have uploaded the last video uh, of a medical student. So you guys are basically seeing my first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. Of medical school and i really think that this is a very important message that you guys needed to hear uh,